Yeah, Lauren, I had conversations today both with Wake County Public Health as well as the State Department of Health and Human Services, and they say they're waiting further guidance from the FDA and the CDC on exactly who will be eligible for this updated Omicron booster. But when it will be available, well, it could be as soon as three weeks. I take my vitamins and stuff every day, so yeah, whatever helps my immune system strong. I'm on it. When it comes to a COVID booster shot, it's a game of natural immunity for folks like Chris Morgan. I just want to see the purpose of me getting it. Because like I, I, like I said, I never got the virus, so I don't think I really need to get the booster. And he's not the only one. If it gets worse again, then I probably will think about it more. But at the moment, I'm not really thinking too heavily about it. Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna both awaiting emergency use authorization for their bivalent booster, which attacks the original COVID strain and the dominant and highly transmissible Omicron strain, affecting Americans by the tens of thousands. The original vaccines are still working really, really well, but we don't want to get infected at all. That's why we need something that's more specific against the type of virus that's circulating right now. The CDC says, in their words, there will be a sufficient but finite supply of the booster, with an expected demand among those who are eligible. However, the agency has yet to determine who will in fact be eligible. Currently, a fourth booster shot is only open for people over the age of 50 and people ages 12 and up who are moderately or severely immunocompromised. I think that it's foolish to just give it to people over 50. I think we know that many people who had their third dose or their, their first booster, it's been months and months ago, we should protect everyone. And that may come when drug manufacturers finalize a booster that will target all variants. But eventually, I think we'll see, we're going to jump from 1.0 to the iPhone 1.0 to the iPhone 14 of vaccines. It's just taking some time. And Lauren, Dr. Wall says he hopes the FDA, the CDC will have an answer as to who will be eligible uh, and when this vaccine will be available to the American people. Because he says this winter, as traditionally as we have seen all winters that we've dealt with this virus, the country has a really tough time uh, surviving the strain that exists during the winter. Lauren.